Hey everyone, today is June 25th, 2019, which is Tuesday, and I decided to make a video because I haven't made a video in a while. I noticed that the last video that I posted was four months ago, I believe, when I was looking back, and I was talking about my haircut that I had gotten. Well, since then, I've still kept my hair short, as you can see. The only thing that's changed is that I've added some color, still been styling the fade though short fade i'll do a zero guard let it grow out a little bit and then after that just repeat the process of cutting it and here and there i believe that i added the bleach on march so since then i haven't done anything to it so i'm trying to grow it out and as you can see there's still some in there remaining let me get close so you can see but this used to be all the way down do i regret cutting my hair not really. There's, there's a few days that I do think about it. Yesterday was one of them. I would see some people that haven't grown out their hair with their hair down uh, in my everyday life. And then I started thinking, why did I cut my hair? Why did I do that? I should have just kept my hair. But then after a while, it just goes away. So do I regret it? No, I don't regret it. Will I ever grow it back out? I will. Not anytime soon, though. I still am thinking the process that I have mentioned before where I'm going to keep the hair short for at least a year. From there, I will probably grow it back out. But in the meantime, I'm just enjoying it. And aside from the hair, let's talk about something else, which was the March of Dimes. March of Dimes event happened as well. And I want to say thank you to my YouTube friends that ended up supporting me in the walk. I wasn't even planning on doing the walk and it was just a last minute thing that I went ahead and did. That's why I didn't promote it here on the channel or in any of my social media because I was not really looking to do it this year. But I still had some friends that have donated in the past and they'll get reminders that they would like to donate and I've had a few that they will continue to donate throughout the years. And I just want to say thank you. I know it's late, but it's better late than never. I really do appreciate y'all for supporting me in this cause. Again, sometimes I slack and <clears throat> y'all remind me, hey, you need to go in there and do this. So thank you for that. Aside from that, also, there's really nothing else going on. I ended up getting sick this weekend and our Pride Parade was here in Houston, Texas. If y'all don't know what uh, I'm talking about, it's the LGBTQ Pride Parade. We typically go, my partner and I, every year to celebrate and enjoy the parade. But this time around, we had to call, we had to call it off because I was just not feeling well. I had a fever and <clears throat> I didn't think it was going to be a good idea for me to be around a crowd with humid hot weather here in Houston Texas we've gotten a couple of triple digits but mostly we stay in the high 90s but with the humidity it feels like we are in the triple digits so I was thinking to myself there's no way that I need to be out there in this heat if I have a fever if I have an upset stomach I had a stomach bug so that just took me out for a good three four days those are no fun at all but <clears throat> I'm doing well now though it's done and over with I finally get to eat some good solid food and I think that's pretty much it one of the other reasons that I want to say I don't make videos it's not because I'm busy not nothing like that it's just not the first thing that's on my mind hey I need to make a video I'll start phasing in and out of certain social medias like YouTube sometimes I'll just fizzle out of it and not watch it as much or Instagram or even Facebook but the ones that I've kind of been keeping off or just not being on as much has been uh, YouTube and Instagram so that's why I haven't been posting any videos like I said the last one that I posted was four months ago I didn't want to say the expression it's been a minute I don't know if y'all have heard that expression before. I started hearing it more often two or three months ago. And I'm very old school. I'm not one of those people that like to use catchy phrases that people use because it's what's in. 
I don't like to use words that are meaning some other things. I, like I said, I'm very old school in some things. It must be because I am almost hitting 40 and I'm just in that old school era. But even at that, I see some of my people that are around my age using that kind of vocabulary and it just surprises me. Uh, <clears throat> but to each its own. And anyways, what I was saying is, the, one of the reasons is I, it's not the first thing on my mind. Now the other reason is the video editing that I used to use before was Windows Movie Maker, I believe. And that was very easy to figure out. Now I don't have that editing uh, tool anymore. It's something else and it's a little bit more complicated to use. So whenever I post videos like this, I try to make them where they're unedited because I just don't want to go through the hassle of using that program. So if any of y'all have a good suggestion for something that would be like back in the day for Windows Movie Maker, please leave it down in the comments below. And also, catch me up on what's been going on with you for these past three, four months. If you have anything to share, feel free to do so, and I will respond. I am typically good at responding at comments. I haven't been very active on YouTube this past month, so I know I have some comments that I need to catch up on. And I try to respond to all the comments. Even the people that like to troll on my videos, I even try to comment on them and respond back. It's just one of those things where I'm like, uh, I should be courteous enough that people took the time to put a comment, so let me comment back. So I will try to respond to all the comments. But with that being said, I hope everybody's having a good day so far. And until next time, y'all take care, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.